Bring up the alarms. Since we got that new digital system, he probably sees himself as redundant. Ah! Oh, you okay? Uh, yeah. Let me see. Yeah, I'm fine. Get it. Bobby, don't fool. We said you're going to kill yourself. Let's call an electrician. Flick the big switch. Please. See? Yes, here. Bobby, come on. Mrs. Holman, I really must renew my objection to you letting Bobby use your security card. It's highly irregular. My own men don't even have them. You're chief of security, Mr. Ritter, but I own the building. Don't worry about Bobby. Maybe in the basement, but at least it's private. It's lovely, Bobby. I'm so proud of you. I would have thought my little sister would be running a gallery. Jarvis? Hi, Hi. Yeah, listen, see if you can get me an electrician. Tonight? Yeah, tonight. Okay. Thanks, your doll. You know, one of the reasons I suggested the gallery for the film was because I thought we could spend a little time together. Yeah, well, that's just great, Sharon. But you see, this just happens to be one of the biggest weeks of my life. The future of the gallery depends on the success of the Rahuzar exhibition. And what do you do? You want to come and make a movie. Where were you 15 years ago, huh? Where were you when I really needed a big sister? that anyone who touches it is cursed to touch no more, or so the Russians say. So don't make me cut your fingers off. <laughs> Everything. Yes, I, I'm Bobby Bell, the curator. I, I can't tell you how much this exhibition means to us. <sighs> oh, and this is my sister, Sharon Bell. Pleasure. The actress. Oh, sorry, I try. <laughs> oh. uh, and Mr. Dane is responsible for prying the statue out of Russia. Well, I crossed a few palms with silver. I hate red tape. And the embassies help me save a few headaches with customs. Well, it's just stunning. She was looted out of Norway by the Nazis. 
and Hitler's own curator, Manfred Dengler, tried to smuggle her out of Berlin just before the fall. But the Russians captured his outbound train and she spent the last 50 years in a bunker under Moscow. There's something wrong with this main lobby camera. Yeah, well, it was fine before, wasn't it? Yeah. Wow, this is cool. Fuck me, Jackman, this is it. This is fabulous. It's just like I imagined. Hey, hey, you know that, uh, what am I thinking? The Godfather scene, you know? Everybody out? Yeah, everything's under control. Paying attention there, Jarvis? Yes, sir. Christ. What the hell did you do that for? I was told to do it, so I did it. Yeah? Well, fuck you. He was a good kid. Get it together. I should kill you right now. Right? I should have been told. That's all. If you feel so bad when you're on the airplane tonight, on your way to Mexico, sitting your ass down in first class, get on the air phone and phone his mother and apologize. Now, there's something wrong with this main lobby camera. You sure it's clear? Yeah, it's clear. Good. <laughs> the fucking room, man. What, what the hell is going on here? I'm so sorry. Jack? What are all these people doing I here? thought production should have a look-see. Oh, for Pete's sake. I had no idea my sister would be so inconsiderate. Well, it's all right, I suppose. You must be Mrs. Holman. That's right. And Bobby? I'm Jack Turi, the director. It's not Sharon's fault, it's mine. I, I misunderstood you when we spoke on the phone. Please accept my apology. I know you. I'm freaking out here. This is fantastic. I'm so sorry to do this to you. Well, it's fine, really, it is. We'll work it out. Darling, oh, darling, Eric, darling. there you are. I've been waiting for you. I can't tell you how much. I appreciate the confidence that you put in us. They're in. It's all yours. Secure. Done. You better get your ass on up to the workshop.
we're doing great. We're working with a psychopath. We love working with psychopaths. Falco. He slit the kid open like a sow. It'll be worth it. <laughs> I said, look, I'm gonna lock myself in the room with these four Russian officials in case of lock until they give in. <laughs> Starving artist. You have quite a sense of humor. <laughs> Hey, fellow, what are you doing? Hey, there's a guy down here messing with the paintings. <laughs> yeah, right, Stephen. He's got quite a man. High-tech security and bulletproof glass. The alarm is fully operational from the security desk, but was it armed? Well, I doubt it. Jarvis wouldn't have armed it until we left. I'm so sorry. Well, it's can't be that water. Okay, let's go. Use the security card. Uh, I think I left it in my office. I got to go get it. No, wait. I'll get it. Bobby, can we try the switchboard, see if we can reach 911? Does this work? No, the new fire alarm is, is tied to the main security system. Where's Steven? Hey. Okay. Oh, my God. Ready? I'll pay for it. I know, it's like throwing one of your kids Be out the careful, be very careful. One, two, three. Ah! Phones are dead. Till we get that card, we're locked in. does not run around this place like a school boy. That is not a professional. That is an asshole. Hey, what are you doing me? Okay? This guy came out of nowhere. Security's not my job. It's Ritter's. So he's the asshole, not me. That's the first smart thing you've said on there. Mrs. Holman, could you pass me the key to the security system? I want to check it out. We are being robbed. Please call the police. This is an emergency. I repeat, this is an emergency. The Holman Gallery is being robbed. Please call the police. This is an emergency. <laughs> you can hear me. Please help. You want to play me? Please call the police. <laughs> Please call the police. The Holman Gallery is being robbed. We are trapped inside. This is an emergency. Please alert the authorities. The Holman Gallery is being robbed. Please call the police. checking in your hotel a little late this evening. Could you hold on to my reservation? Thanks. Guard that with your life. I'll keep the battery. <laughs> you bastard. Oh, shut the fuck up. Well put. <laughs> you don't want to fuck with me. 
I've been 17 hours on a cigarette without a plane. <laughs> Bastard. Is that what you said? Come here. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Stay out of it. If I wanted to kill you, I would do it now, but I have something else in mind. So if I were you, I would just keep my mouth shut. What is your deal, Dane? My name is Eric Dengler. Does that ring a bell? I'm Manfred's son. So if you insult me again, or otherwise get under my skin, I will kill your whole fucking family. That is too bad, I like that. I'll go find the movie star. I'll tell her if she doesn't come out from hiding, you're gonna rip her sister limb from limb. I mean it. Get him out of here. Go, go. Come on, Ritter. Edgy. Everything's under control. You've been pissing on my boots all evening. Get him over here. You got any last, like, iron-jawed words? Before I kill you. possibly be gained from this. Why don't you just do whatever it is you came in to do and leave? Another voice heard from. You're a brave man. One more word out of you and I'll kill you. You scratch the surface of any egomaniac and you find a coward. Oh, yeah. You know what they say about terrorists? They don't like to have people look in their eyes. You understand that? They hate it. Give me one more hairy eyeball. Look at me. Yeah. Thought so. Mr. Beagle, go find Falco. How's it going with this piece of shit? Smell money. Hello, 
can anybody hear me? Anybody on this channel? Please, come in. Anybody, it's an emergency. I copy, ma'am. Go ahead. What's the problem? Oh, thank God. Um, uh, there's been a robbery at the Holman Gallery. There's five of us held hostage. You need to send help. Please hurry. Are you secured, ma'am? Where are you? Um, I, I don't I have, I'm in the basement. Where? Look around. It seems to be a security office of some kind. Please hurry. <laughs> I am a villain, yet I lie, I am not a, a fool of thyself, speak well, fool, do not flatter. My conscience hath a thousand several tongues. Snoot music. You get paid for this. Ow. <laughs> Direct him, Mr. Director. Stephen, I know this sucks. We all have to live through this. in several tale and every tale condemns me for villain perjury perjury in the highest degree in murder stern murder oh, Jesus. I sound like you got marbles in your mouth God <laughs> enunciate Direct him, Mr. Director. The actor's life is in your hands. Stephen is a star, not an actor. Why are you doing this? He can't win your game. He only knows how to do sitcoms, for Christ's sakes. An actor's an actor. <laughs> May I approach? Each degree. 
thrown to the bar, crying all, guilty, guilty. Ah! Humorless prick. That's my review. I should sew him into the belly of a camel with Siskel. Or maybe feed him to Ebert. <laughs> I am really disappointed in you, Jack. Put this on and the rest of you just take a deep breath. <laughs> Formula for the neutralizing agent. Platinum. Saffnine crystals. Holy shit. Zaffanine crystals. Amazing stuff. The crystals were created during the Second World War as an alternate for the A-bomb. That is sort of like a 40s Art Deco neutron bomb. The sphere contains two compartments. One contains zaphanine in an inert solution. The other holds distilled water. When the sphere is activated, zaphanine solution is expelled through one nozzle and the water through the other. Stand. It's as good as the day it was made. Maybe Stephen could lend us a hand with a demonstration. <laughs> the only thing we have to worry about is causing a chain reaction. Like they were when they first set off the A bomb. Do it. Does <laughs> a bowl mean anything to you? When I was in Bulgaria, down the street from my four-star hotel, the authorities bagged a couple of guys that had seven kilos of plutonium in coffee cans in somebody's cellar. 
One cupful can take out a whole city. One of these can take out a whole country, and it has no half-life. Iraq, Iran, Libya would love to get their hands on this. What would they pay? What would their enemies pay to keep their hands off? I'm in sales, basically. And I think I've got the, uh, what would you say? <laughs> sales pitch. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect pitch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have 12 of them. Little stack that thing. I have 12 of them. <laughs> Pack them up. Ritter, come on. She's gone after the sister. You have my condolences. Knowing Lissette, you're an only child. Those tears, Bobby. Thank <laughs> you. 
Block the other! Shut some myself, for Christ's sakes. So here I am, trapped in this maze ruled by currency. If you hadn't lost the goddamn phone, we could have had a dump truck coming through that door. I'm not saying it's not Ritter's fault. I'm saying you put a cap in and we got a lot of problems. He knows the building systems. I'd be the first guy to say, fuck him. More money for us. Huh. That's not the option available. We need the fucking security card. See if you can bypass the security locker on the front doors. You bet. Anyway, what? To disarm the spheres. In about 20 minutes, we're all gonna turn to dust. If you don't believe me, go check the elevator. I'll go look for another way out. Well, we know one thing, they're not going anywhere. Three against four. Boy, I bet they're scared now. Let me see that. God, scared now. God, this isn't one of your movies, Sharon. Think about what happened to Stephen. Oh, make up your mind, Bobby. Have you seen the movies or haven't you seen the movies? Not a one. Both of you stop it. It's very simple. They want out and we have the only key. So we need some kind of defense. We have two guns and one's almost out of ammo. I love it when you're pissed. Arcel, Turpentine, both highly flammable. They'll do the job equally well. We got this. This is stuff that can really heat things up. Krylon spray. Brother to me. You don't mess around when you get pissed, Bobby. Joey DePinto. Huh? Great actor. I shot a movie with him 10 years ago. He used ammonia like tear gas. Got plenty of that. Great. Hey, you think these will come in handy? Huh? God, these things are locked. Sharon, very smart. Come on. It leads to the basement. Let me the walkie. Are you fed up with him? Yes, sir. Give him no rest. Yes, Both sir. doors.
partner. Do you know the difference between a red ant and a peppered moth, Jack? Do I really care? I said it was a red ant. They're crazy. They don't know how to quit. They just fight till they die. Peppered moth hides away. Bullshitting itself. It'll fight another day. But not in your lifetime. <laughs> That's funny. I think you have way too much time on your hands. Where's the gun? I don't know what you had. Give me the card and I'll leave the door open for you. Give me your best Shakespeare and I'll consider it, you fuck. Sounds like you've been combined with Bobby too long. You know, I speak 12 languages and then I use the trailer park white trash. But I can definitely tell by the tone that that was a definitive negative. when she was stubborn. Well, now's the time to be fucking belligerent. Cover me. Set. Three, two, one.
I didn't expect to meet you down here. Glad to see me. I'm gonna get crazy on you. It's time for old Falco to do the in and out. Give me the security card. I never tell you our father committed suicide. Once. I don't think she meant to. Looking through the bedroom door, but she put a blanket. have been so lucky it's really starting to drag me down so i think i should let you in on a little secret now your luck runs out in about 12 minutes can to place a small wager on that <sighs> my time is your time we're all in the same boat jack i placed one of the spheres in an air conditioning unit tick tock tick tock i raised the stakes just a smidgen Stop that, Jack. Stay with me, Dangler. Because now's the time for you to sweat. So loosen that fancy tie. It's Buffy, right? 
You can't take that chance. My father was not an amateur. Once the timer is set, there's no going back. <laughs> no, sir. There's nothing, Jack. So come out with a card. This has gone way past the point of perversion. Disarm it, or we all die. mother was in the German army, Jack. She was a sniper. She hung from the trees in a parachute harness. She survived the war, Jack, and told me everything I know. <sighs> my father's pictures were hung in every room in the house, and my earliest memory is asking her, is that God? I think you're out of ammunition, Jack. We're coming in. Okay. They're not gonna give this up. You go catch up to your sister. I'll be right behind you. But... No buts. Come on, go. Go. I'm right behind you. Before I get back in here, go. Go! into my arms, so why don't you just relax, be nice, and come sit on Daddy's lap. I bet there's a hundred thousand men watching your movies, a hundred thousand guys that see what I see. So, how does it feel knowing that there's a hundred thousand men staring at your body, and you, little darling, are making them all dance?
being peeved. Now I'm angry. Plain old angry. Very, very angry. Well, well, well. Let me see your hand. So it seems you've finally met your match. Hey, Falco! Thanks, let's go. Look, help me with this. Where's Jack? I don't know. I heard gunshots, and then uh, he said a spear. He said one of those spears, and it's gonna go off. What if Jack isn't dead? Bobby, is he dead or isn't he? I, I don't know. Where's the spear? In the air conditioning unit. I passed it on the way down. I gotta get that gun I dropped from Falco grabbed me. But the spear. It won't matter if Falco gets to us first. Falco. Falco. He's dead. Mm. Mm. Shut up. Falco. Wrong. Bobby, I got something you want. And you got something I want. Fuck you. You say something, Jack. Get out of here! That. Let's negotiate. He's alive. Look, we've got to do something that sphere now. Okay, look. I'll get the sphere, you get the gun, okay? That takes a certain kind of person. To give up the life of a friend for something you want. Maybe I underestimated you. Yes. Yes, you did. I like that. security card and get out of here so the blowjob will have to wait. suffer from the same affliction. You need an audience. And then there were none. The clock is ticking, dear. The 
Clock is ticking. Here's the deal, Tangler. Jack for the card. Straight trade, we go our separate ways. All right. The rotunda. We go our separate ways. Neutral territory. This you, Willis, idiot. Come on, come on. Get over there! I'll kill him. Come on, come on, come on. I guess we don't need this anymore. You let him go first. He's only got one bullet, he can't shoot all three of us. That makes me God, then! You want it first? How about you? Look at the deal. We had a deal. You give me that card. We put our guns down, you hear me? We all walk out of here together. Come and get it. takes to get you two together. 